Hey guys, Jeremy here, Kentucky Wash Pros. Uh, today we're going to be working on the old Predator 670. I'm going to show you how to change out the fuel pump. This has got four hours on it and I've been having fits with it. It's probably something I should have done when I started. Uh, everybody who runs these always say to change the fuel pump out. Super easy, super simple. Uh, it'll run for about 15, 20 minutes, one time perfect. You're going to use it again and then it's not working very good. So I noticed that when I do run it, sometimes my fuel is barely coming through. So I don't think it's got good suction, but to go ahead and get this taken off, you'll need a 10 millimeter. You got four of those right there. One here, one here. So that's six. Pop these off, take these out, and you got a couple down here. I'll show you the process. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, guys, first things first, I'll take these off right here. Could be tight, could be loose, depends. I've fooled with this before. Take the cap off up here for your breather. So pull this out, pull this off. Halfway there, ain't we? Pull your filter out, really easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this down. And what I'm gonna do is just put all my boats in that. So we can go ahead and take out this 10, yep, drop that one, all right. And if I don't grab that nail, I'll forget. You got a 10 right here. Take that out. You got another 10 over here. Two tins right here on the top of the breather. So let's go ahead, take the tin off, set it somewhere where you know where it's at. Get you a Phillips. Got two little screws right here. Take that one out. All right, now you got that loose. So, next step, this should pull off. Got that off. So here you are. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch back over to my impact driver. And right here's your fuel pump. You got boats on it from the backside, but it's got an eight millimeter holding it on right here. So get you an eight. Pop that off. Now you're free. You can undo the things, the little clamps that hold it or whatever. You can do it like this, however you want to do it. Don't make no difference. But I've changed a couple of lines out because this line right here, it was pinched from the factory. So we're we'll going to go ahead and get to changing. We have a fuel pump off of Briggs. We're going to be replacing it. It should be a direct replacement when you look at it. Uh, I know this is to the carburetor. This is the diaphragm. As you can see, it's on the diaphragm. And this right here is the inlet. And one way you can do and know that is these should be like one way. So if you stick your mouth on it, this is new. It blows through, but if you it won't blow through that way. So you know, fuel comes in, goes out. It's one way to do it. It's really easy to tell. So we'll go ahead and get started on this. Let's see here. When I changed these, I didn't have, uh, I, d I had to use clamps because I didn't have any, didn't have any, I guess, fuel. That was the right word I'm looking for fuel clamps so I like to do one at a time so I know this is the fuel line coming in gotta go there to that one and I'm gonna just put this on my low setting on my impact that way it doesn't over tighten it too crazy tight and break it so that 
Get that clamp off there. That goes to the diaphragm. Somebody's a lead. It can sound like a big mad bee. Get that on there. Get your clamps. Get your pliers, needle nose, whatever you got. I put on already, so so we'll still need the bracket. We'll fix the bracket in a minute. Let's see. I think the bracket is, I think it's eight. We'll see. Maybe it's a 10. Okay, that's a 10. So, put a 10 on here. Get this changed. So, it's gonna go just like that. Guys, and it's changed. That's how you change it. I don't know, five minutes, six minutes, less than ten, I think. But anyways, guys, that's a Briggs trick boat on. Throw my boat back in there. Get my eight. She's ready to go back together. So you can do this job in, no joke, 15 minutes, maybe. So, all right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.